my name is Alexi. It is so great to meet you. If you want, please hit the subscribe button down below and check out the rest of our channel. So recently, I've been watching a lot of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You know, I, I get deep into fandoms. I've been re-watching the show. I loved it growing up and I've been getting back into it. And consequently, I've been getting back into the lives and like following what's happening with my favorite celebrities and actors and actresses from the show. And Sarah Michelle Gellar has this line of like baking stuff called Foodsters. And because I love her and I trust her, <laughs> I wanted to try it out. So I got this from Whole Foods. I believe they sell them at Starbucks. I, they're supposed to be in Target. I couldn't find it in my local Target, but this was, there is definitely plenty in Whole Foods. And we picked up the organic chocolate chippy cookie mix uh, just to see how it tastes, how if it works really, because there's only three ingredients that you need for this, including the box. And let's just get started. Okay, so. First, I need to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That is heating. Then it says using a hand mixer, mixer or wooden spoon, blend butter until smooth. Now this isn't exactly room temperature, but it's not, not room temperature. I know this butter has seen better days. But uh, I'm not gonna hold bad butter against it. No, it's fine. I'm gonna add the egg as well. So I watched Sarah Michelle Gellar's Instagram live, I think yesterday, and she was showing how to make the Foodsters granola, or the granola bars, and one thing that I thought was super cool, and I'm pretty sure, I'm quite certain, is applicable also to her other Foodsters products such as the chocolate chip cookies, is that you can really um, customize them because there's so few ingredients to match your diet. Probably couldn't make it vegan because I'm pretty sure these are just normal chocolate chips. But if you wanted to use vegan butter in an egg substitute, that's an option. And um, for the granola recipe, it called for a certain measurement of oil and you could have used coconut oil, vegetable oil. It wasn't one of those. I know you can always turn away from the recipe on the box, but it's more open-ended that way, so you know that it's gonna taste good no matter what, I guess. So now I'm gonna crack this open, or try to. I'm here for this packaging, by the way. And then boom, we have the rest of our ingredients. You add it in. That's all the prep you need to do. I'm very particular about my desserts. I can understand healthy substitute meals tasting a bit different than the actual product, but for some reason when it comes to dessert, I just, if it doesn't taste as good as, or as, or pretty close to as good as the normal dessert would have, since I just, or the normal dessert would, I suppose really not interested. I didn't really wait for the butter because I'm really impatient, so I might have to use my hands. But the dough is not necessarily coming together. Baking theory just says keep stirring and something good will happen. Boom. It's looking better already. I'm really impatient. So. I'm seeing a lot of chocolate chips in this mix. That makes me very happy because sometimes I don't, when I make chocolate chip cookies, it's never from a box or anything, but when I make brownies and such that have chocolate chunks and things, or I don't know, I just feel like there's never enough chocolate already added in if you're getting it from a box. So you have to add in your own. I'm gonna call this a dough. We have our baking sheet. Shed the layers. Keep this as clean as possible. I'm just going to kind of try to mold the dough in my hand. Part of me is tempted to add a bit of almond milk into the dough just to help with the texture a bit, but it does feel like a dough. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it it shot like how it is and go from there. Live fast to die young, am I right? Okay, so when you finish rolling the dough, if you're like me, you're gonna have a bit of dough left. And I'm honestly just gonna eat that. So while I'm eating this cookie dough, I'm gonna list off all of the reasons why you shouldn't eat cookie dough raw like this. Um, number one, Raw egg, that's not, like, the risk 
it is high. Uh, number two, raw flour. A lot of people forget about raw flour. That stuff needs to be heated. There are dangers. So the cookies are done in the oven. They don't look that they don't mind these two because um, I was impatient in squishing them. They look organic. Gotta cleanse the palate. Brilliant. Okay. I've already approved of the cookies raw. And I'm gonna try them cooked and mushed because I was impatient. It's really nice, right? One second. They taste really nice. They don't taste as good or better than normal cookies, but they taste good enough to the point where I would be okay eating these as substitute for a normal cookie. Because these aren't like healthier per se. Well, they are healthier. They're definitely healthier. Um, I don't know if I actually taste cinnamon or if my taste buds are just really <laughs> messed up by my mistake of eating Doritos before this. But overall, 10 out of 10. Um, they're good. Like, if you gave these to me and didn't tell me that they were organic and healthier and better for you and the environment, I wouldn't have known. I would have just thought it was slightly off cookies. <laughs> but really good. Don't let that put you off. They're very, very good, actually. Like. I'm a very, very picky eater, especially when it comes to sweets, like I've mentioned, but I would definitely eat and, pur and purchase these again. That's the important thing, because I'm also very frugal with my money, so if I wouldn't purchase something again, that's a big one, but I would. I would definitely, definitely would do this all again. Alrighty, so I'm a put these away. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big th thumbs up. Leave a comment down below telling me if you want to see me trying any other kinds of foods, a different kind of food stirs, like they have brownies or something else, you know. I'm up for it. But yeah. Bye! <laughs>